Well, hello, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Boring Guy Plays, and welcome back to Tomb Raider Remastered. So we are here today in the second Greek level Colosseum, and I'm keen to get in here and ooh. Got a crocodile to kill there, which I might just quickly get rid of now. Perfect. And um, yeah, I actually can't remember a whole lot of this level. Um, so hopefully we're going to head in the right direction, going to find all the secrets that we need to. Uh, but I, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. And now, oh, actually, no, I do remember. Yes, I think there might be lions or something that come out maybe from around the corner there. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, 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 God, oh, no, oh, oh, wow. It's like pinned against the wall there. Wow, okay, that was quite an embarrassing start to the level. Uh, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, <laughs> so... We've taken out a couple of lines. We're finding ourselves in this building. Of, as you can see, we've got some daylight out there, which once again, I love that they've made that decision with this game, and I'm going to probably talk about it every time I see it. And I think we can just go in the bottom level, but I just want to have a look around in here just to see if there is anything interesting that potentially... that we can potentially um, find any secrets, anything like that. I actually can't remember where the secrets are in this level at all. So we're just going to make our way around, just have a little bit of a look and hopefully, yeah, find anything we need to find. Definitely seeing something interesting over here. So I wonder if there is anything of note there. Possibly. Oh, okay. I think this actually might be a secret here. Crocodile pit. A couple of them there. I'm just going to make sure we take out both of them. Just for our own safety. Cool. I'm just going to make my way across here. See what's on the other side. This looks somewhat risky. Maybe? Okay, so I think the secret is not this bit. I think that actually just takes us back into or into the Colosseum itself. I think the secret is around here somewhere. Potentially. Or can we pull up there? It actually looks like potentially there's an entrance there, isn't there? Oh, excellent. Okay, cool. I... Pretty much worked that one out all by myself. <laughs> uh, just some shotgun shells. Oh, 
And it looks like there's some pickups in here as well. And hopefully no more crocodiles. Just the two with a nice med kit. It looks, <laughs> it looks like that's it. All right. So we should be able to head back out of here, hopefully. I think there may actually be a secret around here. Oh! <laughs> I had... I sort of read where that secret was, um, just to give myself an idea. I, I didn't realize it was literally right there. So that was, that was a nice little, uh, nice little effort. And I think now we can pretty much head inside. Not that side, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Poor. Okay. I'm I'm doing so well. <laughs> oh. Right. I guess going in via the way we went before is actually probably the correct way to enter. Alrighty, we'll make our way inside now then. Ah oh, yes, we're on the other side of that gate. And here we've got the Colosseum. Might leave them for the moment. Um and wow, look at that. That is so much more impressive than the um Oh! Hang on! Pierre, get out of here! What are you doing? Where's he gone? See you later, Pierre. I'm using a lot more med packs <laughs> than I previously have been. So um, I guess that means I'm using so many med packs now. <laughs> Um, so I believe you get a achievement slash trophy if you allow um, the number of wild animals down there to build up. And I think you get more in there um, the more stuff you're doing up here. So we'll leave it like that for the moment. And we've got a door over here. Uh, this is genuinely um, a part of the game I have very little memory of. Just, so you may find me sort of stumbling around doing a whole lot of nothing. Now, I believe there is actually an achievement... Um, for waiting for this arena to fill up. I'm not going to do that, um, just because I think it'll take a fair bit of messing around. So I'm going to take out the uh, lions and the gorilla up here 
just from a distance, and then we'll drop down into the safety of the uh, arena, or the safer T of the arena once we've killed them all. There's one more, which I'm going to make my way around to take out, and then we'll uh, yeah head down to the arena floor. Potentially, you might need to just head down. This remaining line doesn't appear to want to get within a firing range. Like, legit. Come over here. The lines do take a lot of shots to take out, don't they? All right. And I think more come out once we're down here. And once we go into some of the different rooms. So we just need to keep an eye on that. Make sure we're not getting it snuck up on. Oh, like right there. That's fine. <laughs> we stayed. <laughs> God. We stayed alert and that saved us from as much embarrassment as we otherwise would have experienced if we'd uh, if we'd not been alert. My gut feel is that one of these is a spike pit that we do not want to be dropping into. That would be that one. And then we've got, yeah, a couple of other uh, hidey holes, things like that. What do we got over here? I was meaning to use walk and instead I used look, which uh, is a bit embarrassing for us. I wonder if there's more lines released <laughs> from doing that. No, it looks like we're okay. <laughs> looks like we're safe. Um, so obviously we're going to then be heading down into this room here, which I believe there are further lions in. And I think we can't get back up up either. Alrighty. And what do we got? Two switches. Don't know what does what. Okay, that opens that. So I would assume then that this one opens that door down there to allow us out of this room. Indeed. And I think we're definitely going to be expecting new lines to be out. Yep. As expected. Three of them? All right, done so. And yeah, we'll head into this gate over here. I have a feeling there's a secret or something around that area where the collapse has happened, um, but I don't think we need to access to that area just yet. I think we need to come around from the Emperor's box potentially. I'm definitely expecting more lions in here. No. No? I believe there's a, I believe there's like a timed 
trick we need to go through to beat this bit. So I think if we step up here, maybe it opens a gate. Okay, it opens that gate and that one. So I think we need to go in here. Pull the switch. Don't know if we need to go via that, but I'm going to go via it anyway. Ugh. Okay. I think we're pretty much in the right place there. Need to be a little bit quicker. Okay, right, I understand. So these, all they're doing is opening those gates again in case you like mess up the um, the sequence. So we don't need to step on those. We just need to make our way through where we need to go. I reckon we're too slow. That one. No, nope, we're okay. So that will open. Okay. That. Are we going to see more lions? It's always possible, isn't it? Right, so this is the spike pit, okay. Looks like it's just this direction that we need to go in. Or does this take us um, to the sort of collapse section that we were commenting on before it might actually I think yeah it looks like a will okay I'm expecting we're probably going to have more lions or tigers down there no apparently not I feel like there's definitely something secret related here maybe over over there sort of looks a bit secrety doesn't it Okay, that wasn't a secret, I guess. I just had to check just to make sure that that wasn't actually the secret, um, which it wasn't, because I, I have experienced before um, issues where the secret sound hasn't played, um, but no, that isn't one of these. It just literally wasn't the secret. So we need to find our way over there. And I'm guessing jumping from this point here is probably going to be how we get over there. Beautiful. Oh, I could have ended badly. Um, now what? Oh, I guess we have to jump from here, don't we? And is this a single jump or a running jump? Let's go running jump. I think we've got some gorillas in here. Possibly one more. Possibly not. I thought there were two. 
There we go. Okay. Alrighty. And from here, we've got a block. We have a lock. Block and a lock. Um, and that's really all we've got in this area. So I'm guessing we need to move that block out to proceed with whatever we're doing from here. Try pulling. There's not like a switch or anything like that in here. Right? Oh, there is a switch. Okay. <laughs> the switch was there, in fact. All right. So I wonder if we need to do those rooms in sequence um, that we had at the, um, in the corners of the arena that we saw before. I'm guessing probably. Which one opened up first, though? Gut feel is that one? You just never know, do you? Let's try. Hang on. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It probably makes sense, actually, for that one to be the first one, since we get back up over here. Right? Okay, perfect. Yes, it is open. What's the go over here? We've got a boulder there. Okay. <laughs> good good to know. Good to see. Uh, I think I'm dead. Unfortunately, I hadn't actually saved uh, the game at all. So I had to redo the level up until that point. But we made our way back now. I believe what we need to do here, we need to run forward, jump and grab onto the ledge there, which should allow the boulder to pass over the top of us fairly harmlessly like so that's actually a nice easy one uh, if you know what you're doing which obviously I didn't at the time <laughs> uh, what have we got over here okay we're opening the door on the next corner of the arena Uh, looks like we've got some lions and Pierre is back. Hey, okay. Pierre and the lions. Yeah, he does. He's he has an alliance with the lions, doesn't he? Come back. Get out of here, mate. Oh, yes, and because I haven't um, <laughs> actually been to these areas yet on this playthrough the level, <laughs> obviously um, I'm going to come up against some bats and stuff. Now, in this um, level, there is a secret. There's a door at the top, I believe, which we just heard open um, as we touch this pillar. And I believe this isn't a one-time thing. I think we can actually try this multiple times, I hope.
And I believe all we need to really do here is to make our way quickly up these pillars. Oh, okay. I, I've I, Full disclosure, I've read a walkthrough on how to do this, and I believe you can actually do this um, just by jumping and not actually needing to move at all. You just, like, jump... Um, Like so. Okay, there we go. That's actually nice and easy. Uh, we just need to be a little bit quicker. <laughs> and not do that though. All right, so we just waited for it to close. It has now closed again. One minute, 37 seconds later. And... Nice. Oh, hang on. What do we got over there? Oh. Got our magnums. We got them earlier this time. I think in the last playthrough, I only got them in the next level, Palace Midas. So there we go. A little bit earlier onto things in this playthrough. Probably because I'm, you know, referring to <laughs> walkthroughs quite liberally in doing this. But in any case, we've opened the uh, door in the next corner room. And we'll now make our way over there. And what do we need to do in here? Okay, uh, so I believe that... Well, I thought that was the end of the level, but no, obviously it's not. What do we got in here? Obviously, we've got some water, um, but what is down there? I'm hoping there's not crocs or anything like that in here. I see a pull block or a push block. Probably a push block. Because there's, no re there's nowhere really that we can pull it here. So we'll get pushing. Now what? Guessing we need to move it out of the way now. All right, we've got a key, which I'm guessing is the key to go into the water. So hopefully we should be fairly easily able to make our way back to, I guess, the Emperor's box, as we're calling it. Oh, we do have some more animals down there, of course. Um, I don't know, really know if we need to get rid of these guys, but I'm sure you can jump that. I'm 100% sure. I'm going to drop a save and hopefully we can jump it and not have to go all the way back around again. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now, 
Now, what's through here? Because I'm I'm sure this isn't the end of the level. It's like a collapse section. Okay. Cool, I guess. Uh, th I guess that might be like a red herring if you pull out of the water, you know, pull the switch and you think that's, that's it. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, it's not actually. Alrighty. So I think, yeah, uh, if we go through here, I think that's pretty much the end of the level. Uh oh, I think we're safe. I don't think <laughs> they're, they're up here. So I guess, yeah, we just got to make our way into the water. Oh god, there's a crocodile. Help! Oh, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay. It's fine. Well, I'll pull this switch. Oh. <laughs> if we can work out how to pull the switches. Don't know what that did. Um, crocodile is still in there. And we're just going to hang out up here until we can kill it. All right. All right. That is done. So let's make our way to the end of the level. All right, so Colosseum's done as always a fun level. Um, bit of a shorter one compared to, I think, how we found St. Francis's Folly. I was unfortunate that I died without saving, so I did have to do half the level twice. Um, but it was good to get a little bit of a shortcut in, um, and I was able to record that, so we'll get that up as a short for you as well. If you want to skip the um, like the timed run room, you can um, basically just drop straight down into the spike pit. Um, using the similar technique to what we did with Tomb of Qualipec to get um, the secret in the spike pit. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description, so please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff. Big shout out to my Founders Club patron, Caleb. Caleb, thanks so much for helping to make this content possible. If you want to help out at home, you can do so by jumping on to patreon.com forward slash Bob Dendry by joining as a member of my YouTube channel or just leave a one-off super thanks on this video. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Tomb Raider Remastered. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.